Okay, magandang hapon. Today is Friday. Uh, another case of fracture. Um, this cat is actually a miracle cat. To. Um, nahulog daw to, according to the owner, from a thirteenth floor. So, imagine the height. Thirteenth floor of a building, from a building, that height. This cat drop or accidentally fall. Um, and Miraculously, this cat survived. Okay? But a bad percentage on this cat is very ill and uh, critical conditions, having um, breathing difficulties um, based on radiographs we have um, seen some opacity on the chest, but fortunately there is no broken ribs. Uh, I think there is some bleeding inside hematomas but we didn't uh, perform any open surgery and uh, we just uh, gave some uh, supportive therapy and oxygenation and uh, everything like uh, including pain medications and more on supportive therapy and we observed the cat for about a week now since presented and uh, there are some hematomas here and the only fracture no, is it's a miracle for this cat for that high 30th floor uh, survive the only fracture is the metatarsal uh, metatarsal right right metatarsal uh, metatarsal uh, 2 4 and 5 so 3 metatarsal bones we're going to fix that bones by by means of open redact, open uh, fixation, either plates, uh, mini plates, uh, very small plates, because the the uh, the piece, you know, here, uh, the, the same as in human, is a uh, minimal tissue envelope. So, when, when we place or we use a plate that is thick, might cause uh, some irritation and, and, and it's very difficult to close the wound, the skin, due to minimal tissue on that region. So, we have an option to use a mini plate, very thin plates, titanium plates, or or maybe a uh, intramedullary pin. So, it depends on the situation. So, uh, these are only seven months, you know, basa pa itong cut na to. And what is good is, he survived. So, from presentation, there was Difficult the breathing, hematomas, and very weak, you know, and uh, we stabilize using clovet, physician, everything, and nutritional support, and we just waited for this cat to to uh, uh, show some improvement and we recheck the blood, we re examine, and um, and the blood counts is improving. And there was also may ihi, you know, may, may blood sa urine, may blood sa ihi niya. That's why we suspect a very high impact, you know, a high energy uh, impact. But 
protruding there is no other fracture including the pelvic bone the uh, vertebral column the ribs and other parts of the body only the right metatarsal 2 4 and 5 that's what we are going to text today and constipation for a week you know more than one week so we provide a uh, laxative you know polyglyzol uh, by the way so the cat uh, uh, um, and uh, the cat uh, uh, defecate you know yesterday so what that was a good news that's a, that's a good signal that we uh, inform the owner that we can proceed to surgery today and and this cat is, is a miracle cat thank you and here okay please uh, turn the camera we have a plan similar to our previous orthopedic procedures we use the BIPAP uh, no, uh, software this is the actual fracture here when you focus on the fracture so this is the medial side right lateral side of the right uh, metatarsal this is the second metatarsal fractured and displaced distal spring fragment i don't know if the the uh the, the third metatarsal is also fractured but there is some deformity here but we have to check that what we will make an incision and this is the third metatarsal is also fractured there and also the last metatarsal the fifth metatarsal bone also fractured okay and this is the proximal phalanx here it's a joint so our incision would be as so much as possible we have to make a single long incision from the distal third or from the distal radius down here to the first phalanx okay so the complication associated with this type of, of fracture repair is that the healing process could be longer and possible of of irritation with the implants because there is minimal tissue in below third it's, it's like just the skin covering the bones no unlike uh, the proximal part of the limbs okay so we have measurements we have uh, th th this is not the actual actually the actual size because we it's very difficult one another another uh, challenge here is that it's difficult to find a implant especially very thin implant for this these small bones no I think the mini bone, mini, mini, mini plates. But if it doesn't work, we have an option to use some intermedullary pins. Okay? That's all, and thanks for watching. Okay, na ta? Okay, na.